What's happening, Internet? Sean here, Mahalo.com, and today I'll be showing you how to set up program restrictions inside of Windows Live Family Safety. So let's go and check it out. Now, from the main screen here, when we're looking at Windows Live Family Safety, from all the settings we have, here in the very far right we have program restrictions, and currently for the account we have selected, program restrictions is turned off. If you want to turn on program restrictions, you can click on this link here, or here in the far left, you can click on program restrictions. To turn on program restrictions, simply click the button right here. Now we just select the programs we would like to block. Let's say for instance, game restrictions hasn't blocked a game that we would like to block for the account because the game had an early age rating, but we still feel that this game should be blocked. You can simply find it in programs. Let's say the game was Electronic Arts Battlefield Play for Free. So I can select it here and now that is blocked from the account. Another example of why you might want to block a program Let's say, let's say the chat client is installed for IRC. We don't want the account to be using IRC. So I just simply click on that to make sure the account cannot use that because that's a program that I'm not able to monitor inside of Windows Live Family Safety. Then, whenever you're done selecting the programs to block and allow, just make sure at the top or bottom you hit save. If you're wanting to block a program and you have a hard time finding that program, a good way to find it is just to look up who makes that program and then it'll be listed underneath that. So for instance, Blizzard Entertainment, we drop the down arrow, and it'll show us StarCraft 2. And there you go, it's that simple and easy to set up program restrictions inside of Windows Live Family Safety. Now if you'd like to stay connected to this learning course, make sure to subscribe, and feel free to rate and comment below. And like always, thanks for watching.